Hi everyone, it's Mama Mochi, and today I'm going to teach you how to pronounce Japanese words. So, let's get started. In my opinion, I believe that pronouncing English is a lot more difficult than pronouncing Japanese, and I'm about to tell you why. If you look at the vowels A, E, I, O, and U, each of these vowels have multiple different sounds. For example, the letter A makes three different sounds, A, A, and A, such as in the words se, mal, and nap. This is true for the other English vowel sounds as well. However, in Japanese, each vowel has only one sound. A, I, U, E, O. Even when these vowels are combined with each other, their pronunciations do not change. You simply pronounce and enunciate each vowel as it is written. So even though these Japanese words sometimes look long and scary, they're actually quite easy to pronounce. And once you know these five sounds, you'll be able to pronounce most Japanese words. So let's start with the first one, A. This sound is A. For example, in Japanese, the word for fish is sakana, sakana. Next, the vowel I. This sound is I. It's kind of like the double E and English, like in the words ni and si. You can hear this sound in Japanese words like kimi, ichi, and shinigami. For the next vowel, U, it sounds like U. You can hear this in words such as utau, nyusu, and uzumaki. The vowel E in Japanese has the sound E. You can hear this in words like kaze, edo, and neko. The last vowel, O, sounds just like O, like in the English word no. You can hear this in words like owaru, kokoro, and natto. Now that you know these vowel pronunciations, pronouncing Japanese words will be a lot easier. However, there are a few exceptions. When you see the vowel U and SU appearing at the end of a word, the vowel U becomes silent. For example, in words like des and shimas. Sometimes you may hear Japanese speakers pronounce this U, but typically it is muted. There are a few more exceptions to Japanese pronunciation, but these are the basics to help you get started in learning how to speak and pronounce Japanese properly. Now that you know these rules of pronunciation, let's try saying some Japanese words. Osokunaru Kawaii Arubaito Oboeru Tegami And for the anime fans, Orumaito! Okay, so I hope this video helps you in learning Japanese. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!